Welcome back to Mouster House Campers folks. Here today we have a 2002 Suntour Avant Garde. This is stunning with a capital S. The last owner of three years. It's been his pride and joy. It wanted for nothing. This is how it's came in stock. Spotless. I'll just do a quick walk around the bodywork, but as you can clearly see, the bodywork, well, I would say it's 16 years old. I would say this is a high nine out of 10. It is that good. I'm really going to be hard pressed to find anything negative on this particular example. But at Mouster House, we show you the good, the bad and the ugly. There's certainly nothing ugly on this. There's certainly nothing bad. There's plenty good about it. What have I found? And we are being super fussy here folks a tiny little crack here around the rear number plate um, a little bit of a dimple i can't find it now it's that minor i did say i was being fussy It really is that nice. Six owners. It is 16 years old, don't forget. So that's enough of the outside. The awning fully operates and comes out as it should do. All the wheel arches are nice. We'll see if we can quick pop the hood or the bonnet. So a recent Halfords engine battery and the leisure battery was changed in 2016. Absolutely spotless. Certainly no rust. Even inside the cupboards, the lockers have been cleaned. That's just as it's come into stock. Spotless. And the cassette, flush, fresh water, cupboard space, the gas bottle, again, that's all been cleaned. He really was fussy, the last owner. You've got your two bite rack, Fiorma. Standard fix in there. It's got the winter cover over the Truma heater. Gain access to under storage. Lovely wheel trims. Pull out kicking step. Same story. Bottoms of the doors, lovely. This will certainly last for years to come. Seats are also spotless, no rips or tears, no undue smells, over mat fitted. We'll go through the paperwork inside. I knew there was something to show you here. Just a crack here. As you can see, that comes out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws. So if you did go to Theatre Perjo, you can endeavour to get a new step there, depending on your fussiness levels. But I'm just bringing it to your attention. I'm 
wait till you see it inside. It just gets better and better. Absolutely delightful. Last owners didn't like the red curtains, so they've changed for a nice light white curtain set. You've also got another set and the original curtains with the original fixings. This really is special. Bone dry, no previous leaks or repairs. comes up, slides in this little hole there, and everything falls about. I haven't gone through the habitation side, but there's no reason why not. So I'll update the information in the advert to make sure everything works. I'll get the cooker working and the hobs and take some pictures and some water. Totally spotless. So the last owner fitted this table out of the caravan. Very straightforward. We've got four self tappers, one, two, three, four at the side. That can lift off. Then that cushion will go back in its original place. So then you'll have the U-shaped lounge or you can leave it as it is and he set it up as two single beds. So you've got that option. I will take some pictures with that cupboard off, but I'll leave that included, and then you can decide whether you're gonna have it U-shaped or the cupboards as it is. So obviously, with that come out, cushions folding forward, that makes a massive queen-size rear bed. It's the, it is a four berth. You've got your ladders straightforward this just slides out there that comes to here and that makes a large double bed above the cab if you've got any children they'll be excited to go up there full set of curtains again the upholstery is magnificent and look at that over mats totally spotless in fact the front has got over mats over a clear protective cover over another over mat do with that fussy so looking into the wardrobe you've got the hanger you've got your freestanding table so obviously that will fit nicely freestanding at the back or you can take it outside on sunny days You've got your TV here, real there, 360 degrees, your status TV booster, mains fuse box, access in here to the gas heating, coming into the toilet and shower area, no surprise, absolutely spotless, and flush. Again, totally spotless and Mark III. So we'll just have a quick look at the paperwork. thing to note the previous owner has lost the service book so we can't declare this as full service history he had the service book 
he forgot to take it into the garage to get it stamped up. He left it at the garage and they lost it on him. They duly compensated him and included a free service, but unfortunately, we've now only got the service bills for the last three, own, three years of ownership. But the last guy, when he got it, he got new brakes fitted all round, pads and discs and shoes. He purchased it in 2015. For the last three or four years, the only advisory it's had is parking brake. The lever has little reserve travel and that's still the case. So basically when you're pulling the handbrake on, it does come quite high up. So that's just something to note. Perhaps, as I say, it will only be an advisory. The parking brake works, but you might want to have that adjusted for the next MOT. Incidentally, it's MOT till 27th of September 18. Don't envisage any problems with the next MOT. It was last serviced last year at 25,000 miles. Full service. Full service in 2016. And a full service and full exhaust in 2016 as well, as well as a new leisure battery. Lots of paperwork for the last three years. Lots of previous MOTs. It was purchased this off a caravan main dealer. So they obviously give it a full habitation check and ensured everything was working as it should be. So that's the paperwork for the vehicle. The original vehicle handbooks. And you've got a lot of invoices. Oh, some more invoices and MOTs. That's the instruction book and lots of service information for the applications in the back and there we have it pop-up table here as well as there last owner's just put this on incidentally you can just lift that off there just a fly screen I'll just leave it loose there now while I finish off the video outside. Very large roof light. And that's just pushes up as follows. Gas strips nice and operational. Flynets as well. And fly nets to every external window. So I'll just do a quick walk round outside. So just to recap, this is a Suntour Avant Guard. It's covered 25,000 miles. I've done 200 miles myself and can assure you it drives beautifully. Five speed manual with a later two litre HDI engine. Very economical and powerful. Pioneer CD system, power steering, wind up windows. This is the very last of this shape before they went on to the new shape. I tend to like these particularly. They're what I call Freddie Flintstone mechanics. Not too much electronics and bits and bobs and electronics to go wrong. Just good old fashioned engineering. So I'll just do a quick walk around outside in summary. So this will be on sale on eBay. Auction format, Matt. It's no good ringing up and asking how much am I expecting for it? How much is it? We're gonna let the market dictate the price. You decide. Good motorhomes always fetch a premium. There's plenty of scams and stories out there, particularly on eBay and AutoTrader at the moment. If it's too good to be true, it normally is. These cheap motorhomes, in inverted commas, don't exist. It's just scammers taking deposits for vehicles that don't exist, wasting a lot of time and effort.
That's not the case on this time, folks. Feel free to Google my phone number, 0798 526 1078. I repeat, 0798 526 1078. I supply motorhomes for a living. We are up and down the country collecting and delivering. Again, I'll consider delivering this at cost price. No problem anywhere in the country. This particular example will stand up to the fussiest of inspections. There's not much more I can say about this. Feel free to ring me up, phone or text, 9am till 9pm, seven days a week folks. Sensible questions only, 